All right, so while Igor's working on this, Renfield just finished this guy. That's interesting. All right, guys, so this is our finished 3D print. It's kind of exciting. It's literally a Jolt reskin. So printed this at 20%. Seems very solid so far. It's a little smaller than it looks, but like that's the size of my hand. My finger barely fits like, it won't fit all the way, but it'll fit enough that I should be able to depress the trigger. And then we've got this. I printed this at 85% with a hex infill and that stabs you for some reason. Seems a little poorly designed that the trigger needs to be like rolled up underneath and pulled in that way. Hopefully you guys can make that out, uh, but a little uncomfortable. Looks like it's going to take advantage of the same pin that holds the jolt together, but this is literally a jolt reskin. So we've got a little bit of grease here. We're taking advantage of uh, 3D printed parts don't really have the, um, I don't know how to put this, like they really shouldn't be used in this way. Like they're not ideal barrel material or plunger material, but it lets you turn your jolt into a miniature Glock almost. Since the jolt's entire system here is really just this and the rest of it's just a unibody piece, like we can go ahead and extract that, set that off to the side. We have four screws. I've got a little thing of ace silicone grease here and hopefully we'll be tapping into these four holes which we're touching the build plate while we build this. But since we're thoroughly destroying this anyhow, I figured we would take this as an opportunity, tap out the pin, see if we can't dead blow that pin out old school modding style. We're getting there, we're getting somewhere. So we'll take a slightly thinner screwdriver. Dead blow hammers are so cool, guys. All right, well, that's not working. Let's try torquing it out with pliers. And we're fighting an awful lot for a tiny scrap of metal here. Maybe we can break it out. Oh, the issue was perhaps that we were beating it through the knurled side, so. Well, this is destroyed. The real question is, look at how similar this design is. Like, the catch is gonna be a little bit lower on this new one, but ultimately this is just a jolt reskin. Um, so let's go ahead and put that there. And we should be able to tap this pin in to hold this in place. I have to try very hard not to break it in the process, but same concept, just tapping the correct way this time, and now we have to actually care about the shell. Yep. Nice and easy. All right, so that's been flawlessly tapped through there. The real question is, does this have enough inherent springiness that it's going to do anything to depress this? This is wild. How does the trigger even work? Seems like while it's locked into here, does this need to be down so that this can come back? I guess we'll find out after we've installed this. That's the best time to find out, right? Surely. Uh, since it is 3D printed plastic, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add a little bit of silicone grease here, just to the, the printed bits and the sear up inside. And then I think our catch is omnidirectional here, so the only thing that matters is that we get these screws aligned properly. We can go ahead. Tease this bit in. All right, guys, what do you think the chances are that the Glock Jolt works? It caught? No amount of squeezing is doing it, though. We can't get it to release. 
Negative captain. All right, let's try. And that's a lot of pressure too. David Bowie ain't got nothing on us. What if that goes down? What's the point of this if it doesn't work? We need a way to get this to come out. Do we pull this up? Is that the issue? Oh boy. Moment of truth. All right, we'll start with a Zuru dart. Just really tamper in there. Prime. Come on, catch. Well. <laughs> and so, it doesn't want to catch. Let's see if we can't. There we go, we got it to catch. Throw a dart in there. All right, so we've got it to catch, and now we'll try pulling the trigger and pull it up, kind of. Come on. We had it, it was so close. Try again. All right, trigger in. All right, so a little frustrating, and it's not a flawless system, obviously. It will catch, and then once it's caught, the issue is that it's hard to get it to de-catch. So like if you primed it and then de-primed it like that, it will fire. And it will catch. The issue is that it's like a little bit fickle. So there's an elite dart. Come on, one time trigger mechanism. Just work the way you should. I don't know, so it's very gimmicky, but like this is easily baby's first 3D printed nerf mod, right? It's a complete reshelling of a very simple blaster that costs like $3 if you buy it right. And does not improve the performance. The cool thing about the Jolt is how great its seal is from the factory. Like the Jolt gets awesome stock performance. This gets worse stock performance because the barrel is 3D printed plastic and the plunger is 3D printed plastic. So the seal is not great with either barrel on dart or plunger on plunger tube. But it's way more tactical looking than a Jolt and it has a longer barrel. So in theory, this is the kind of platform that would have potential if you wanted to spend the time kind of polishing or even brassing this barrel, it would be pretty decent. So that is the Nerf Glock Jolt and in a world full of Jolt reskins, be they uh, Fortnite upcoming, be they, be they Overwatch or be they even Nerf blasts from the past, it's kind of cool that we've got some fan-made options. And it's even neater that this thing printed off the bed so cleanly. We had some support, but the support busted off just like super simple. And while I do have a full debrief on my Prusa Mark III coming, uh, it pounded this out in spectacular fashion. Like this is very nice, very clean, very easy. So hats off to Prusa for putting together like a slicer and bed that could do this and then just pop off. Like very, very cool, very quick and easy. Very pleased with that. But that is my review of the Glock Jolt. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It's kind of just a fun, like hilarious aside video, but uh, files are free on Thingiverse. I will link them in the description box below for as long as they stay up. Uh, but that is that. Super holsterable. Uh -huh.